Netgear Wall Plug AC Wi-Fi Range Extenders are the easiest and fastest way to extend the range of your existing Wi-Fi. To begin, first unbox your extender. Then, plug the extender into an electrical outlet. For a seamless installation, we recommend that you complete the basic setup in the same room as your current router. To determine if your router supports WPS setup, look for a WPS button on the front or back of the router. If your router does not support WPS, watch the range extender setup with Netgear Installation Assistant video. To set up with WPS, first press the WPS button on the extender. Then, press the WPS button on your Wi-Fi router the WPS LED will light up solid green when you have established a good connection between your Wi-Fi router and your extender. If your Wi-Fi router supports the 5 GHz band and you want to extend this band, repeat the WPS process. Now, unplug the extender and move it to a new location that is about halfway between your router and the area with a poor Wi-Fi signal. The location that you choose must be within range of your existing Wi-Fi router network. Plug the extender into an electrical outlet and wait for the power LED to light green. Once powered on, use the router link LED to help you choose a location where the extender to router connection is optimal. If the router link LED lights amber or green, you found a good location for the extender. If the LED lights red, plug the extender into an outlet closer to the router and try again. Moving the extender closer to the router will improve the connection but will reduce your extender's coverage. Once you've found a good location for your extender, connect your client device using the new network name. The extender uses your existing Wi-Fi name and adds underscore 2G EXT or underscore 5G EXT at the end. When connecting, make sure to use the same Wi-Fi password as your router. If you're using a mobile device, connect in the same room as the extender and then move to the area with a poor router Wi-Fi signal. Once your devices are connected and placed in the dead zone, return to the extender and check the client link LED. If the client link LED is solid amber or green, your Wi-Fi network has been properly extended to the area with a poor router Wi-Fi signal and your network setup is complete. If you're unable to connect to your new Wi-Fi network from the dead zone or the client link LED is red, the range extender is not reaching the area with a poor router Wi-Fi signal. If possible, move your client device closer to the extender until the client link LED turns solid green or amber. Depending on the distance from your router to the dead zone, your extender may not be able to provide all the range that you require. In this situation, we recommend considering other solutions, such as Powerline. Your AC Wi-Fi range extender is now set up and ready to go.